<laughs> I think for part two, but there are many. Okay. Um, and I think that in my confessions really would be good stuff to help people. Oh, nice. Right. So I've struggled with pornography before. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. You know, people always assume that we are meant to be perfect. That mm. used to upset me. Yeah. I don't like a lot. <laughs> like really a lot. I've got into yes. so many fights in in children's Sunday school and all of that because yeah. they just accept that you you as a the moment of truth is here again. You just heard the confession of two kids of giant pastors in Nigeria. Their fathers are the gods of Nigerians, Nigerians, Christians. Their power, their, their, their fathers can, can cause the heaven to cease to exist. They stop the rain. The weather, American weather, obeys them. They drink tea with God. You just heard the confession of their sons now. The other one is fighting everybody. That's Leke. He called the pastors, redeem pastors, a goat. He just told you he fights people in the in the in the what's it called in the Sunday school because people think it should be perfect. Because their parents told you that they have all it takes. They are mighty than the almighty God. Kings knelt before them. Kings attend their, their programs. Go to their churches to recite kings there. Presidents knelt down before them. But their kids are suffering. They too, they are suffering. It's a lie, you don't ever believe anybody that tells you they have power. Nobody has power. He's the only almighty father. So you have to know God for yourself. Stay tuned and hear more. Of gold as dust. <laughs> and the gold of offer as the stones of the brook. Yea, The almighty shall be thy defense. And thou shall have plenty of silver. Financial fortune, a product of a quality spiritual work. Financial fortune, a product of a quality spiritual work. Stand up, Isaac. When this big man was born, we had only 10 error for his naming. My associate said, there is nothing wrong in getting money from church to do it. You are the head of the church. I said, no. It's not a church child. It's my child. Isaac Oyedepo, the second son of David Oyedepo, the founder of Living Faith Church Worldwide has opened up about a time in his life when he struggled with pornography. Isaac said the addiction started during his trip to an European country. He said he overcame the addiction early because grace and mercy found him. He didn't tell you all who. <laughs> Anyway, let me read on. Isaac added that this pornography addiction would have stopped earlier than it did if he had someone to tell him how to overcome it. You hear that again. So he goes on to say, I struggled with pornography before. I remember how it started. We traveled to one country and I was meant to be in the room alone. I switch on the TV and that's it, Isaac said. But God brought me out of it very quickly. A lot of people still struggle with it. If anybody who had struggled with it had walked up to me and told me how to come out, maybe I would have come out faster. I think people feel they are... There are things we should not talk about. Today, there are some pastors and church members 
still struggling with it. You may be anointed, seeing miracles, signs and wonders, but it does not mean you are standing right. There is this old saying that if it is working, it means you are standing right. But but I found out that it is not always the case. There are times I find out I wasn't right, but grace and mercy found me. Isaac Oyedepo. You know, I told you, maybe in the video I posted two days ago or yesterday, that these people are sick. Yeah, the one I posted yesterday, um, um, Prophet Shegun, Shegun Adebayo's video, yes, I translated it. He spoke in Yoruba, but I translated it as much as I could. That said, one bishop and his wife, they both sick. They eating sickness in their lives. So I had in my own, that all of them, their children, everybody are sick. But here you are. You'll be running to them. Every little thing, you run to them. You run to them because they told you that they have power. It's a lie. There's no power anywhere. There's no power anywhere. You just have to build yourself up, educate yourself, strengthen yourself. If you are a believer, if you are a Christian, if you are a child of God, and you know God for yourself, you will not be running to people. It's even against the Bible. Bible then asks her, ask us to run to people. He said, run to me. You have to run to Christ. You have to know how to run to Christ. He's telling you this. He won't tell you everything. <laughs> if he's still struggling with it or it's been an addiction, he will not tell you. A lot of them are gay. They are doing women. They are doing men as well. They have a lot of things wrong with them. Because you cannot be playing with Satan. And you think Satan will leave you alone. It does not happen. No. No. It's a lie. I told you, I said they are sick. If you know what we know, people can find in us and tell us stuff. But because they didn't give us the rights, or there's no agreement to go out and throw it out there. So it will be impossible. To come and tell you everything that we know. Is it the one I saw myself? That will make you to question. <coughs> to question these people. Their salvation and everything. You know I was in their church. I told you. I met uh, Isaac Oedeku one on one. When I went for the. Uh, for the money I gave to Ojeme. Uh, 10,000 pounds. So we were in the room together. He was still young then. He hasn't gone to, to America then to, to lead a church then. So I could see then, he, I could see his honesty. He was honest then. Because he, he, he was the only one that believed my story in that room. In that room, about seven or so people there. But he said, no, this man is telling the truth. He could see through. They read the package themselves, or the pastor, the, the package, everything, and everything. But he said, no, this woman is telling the truth. So I prayed for him that day. So, my people, this is a lesson for all of you that, that run up and down. That run here and there. You are just going to, to add more to your trouble. Because everybody has something they are struggling with. Everybody has something they are struggling with. Everybody has issues. But for these men to be telling you that they are powerful, there's nothing wrong with them, they are almighty God, they, 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 they have it all, it's happening in their lives, and they are using it to destroy many lives. To, 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 at the end of the day, it turned out to be a lie. And people now say, there's no God, there's no God, there's no God. Because they let the gospel they're supposed to be preaching to people. They're supposed to be telling people about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, his death, his resurrection, his ascension and everything. That's what they're supposed to be preaching. They're supposed to be preaching salvation and repentance. They're supposed to be telling you that we are all equal in the eyes of God. We are all brethren. There's no father here. No fatherism, no motherism. We are all brethren. 
But no, they will tell you that they are powerful. Instead of you there to tell you to be reading your Bible, that is the only way out. Know the word of God for yourself. A lot of people are being taken out by the enemies because when the enemy comes, they will, they, 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 they will call these pastors. They will, not pick their, they will not pick their phones. So because they were not equipped, they were taken out. The, the troubles of life overpowered them. I told, I've done a video about uh, um, that uh, sister that his own son stabbed to death. Instead of her to call police, she was calling her pastor, Sister Tolu. Tolu, uh, ah, what's the last name now? I forgot. An accountant. That boy is still in prison now. And that woman is late now. That evil pastor, he was, she was calling him. The pastor didn't respond. He, he, the, the boy is not meant to be in the house with this woman. But they will tell them that they have power. God will do it. They too, they will, they will rely on them. She was an accountant. They will rely on them or rely on their evil counseling. counseling because they, they, they see them as, a, as high and mighty. High and mighty. And they, they have no power. There's, there's no power. They are going through stuff. All their children are sick. Their wife are sick. They are sick themselves. That's what is annoying me, annoying me about them. We now see Benny Hinn that all of them look up to. All of them look up to Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn is their king. Is their everything. Look at Benny Hinn now. Benny Hinn's back is on the floor now. How is he going to come out of it? So my people, when I saw this, I said, let me use this to encourage my people. And I will put the video of Oyedepo there. With Isaac, if you believe anything that he says there, then I don't know what to suggest to you. Don't ever believe any of these men. You have to know God for yourself. You have to know that we all have problems. Stop running up and down. Deal with your problem or your needs. There are people you will trust that you, you, you can... It's even better for you to go for counseling. The professionals in the area of whatever you are going through that to go to all these pastors that knows nothing. And they will just delay, delay your destiny. They will give you wrong advice. Imagine that one that's collecting a Brahmi coffin here and there. He nearly died two years ago. We were all praying for him. I prayed for him. He was saying, hey, man, hey, man. I prayed for him. I gave him money. A lot of people pray for him. They gave him money. They have to rush him over here for treatment. He's not telling people now not to use my their medication. That's what I'm saying to you. He has his uh, two sons in Canada. Now he's not using style to tell people that his, his children want people, uh, the people want to be calling his children every day. Why would people be calling your children every day in Canada? Don't they have a job? He's a liar. He's just giving them an idea. Oh. Be calling my children every day. Oh. So the, 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 the problem, the responsibility of his children in Canada will be theirs. Why will anybody be calling your children every day? So this is what I'm saying to you. That if you if if you are listening to them, all this rubbish, you'll be hearing all this rubbish, all this manipulation here and there. My people, I hope you learned something. He didn't tell you all, oh, he didn't tell you everything, oh. He did not tell you everything. They are sick, oh. You see their last born that were doing fake miracle online the other day. <laughs> fake miracle. It is on camera. If I find the video. Can you see it? I can't, Can I can't see, see anything. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So, um, for a while now, there's a video that I've been trending. In the video, Bishop Oye Depo's last child, uh, I think her name is Joy, uh, she was seen performing a miracle, which most people, um, which was seen as fake by most people. But in this video, what happened was, she prayed that her hands, that her arms be elongated. Afterwards, it turns back to normal. Um, so today I'm going to be reacting to the video, but before I react to the video, I'm going to read some comments. Okay, the negative ones that are, that are too negative for me to read, <laughs> I am not going to read that, but I'm just going to read the ones that are fair, you know. Now let us get on to it. Um, someone said, <laughs> someone said, yeah, 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 the smell. Wait, what did I just watch? And a lot of reaction on the internet about this video. Someone said here that she needs help sharp, 
she need help sharp at least before the condition gets worse another person who said god help nigeria from the hands of these pastors ha 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 before she turns before she turned 29 the father will hand over a branch to her and okay okay now it is time to watch the video let every vertebrae and disc in my upper back it's be completely gone can you see it can you see it i can't can i can't see, see anything like oh my jesus to be completely gone and everything to be rearranged in the name of jesus right now i pray that all of it is rearranged in the name of jesus so if that is not a condition or a madness i don't know what it is and I will see you on my next video. Bye for now. No God for yourself. Stop running up and down.